Welcome everyone, today we are building this set from Mold King, set number 10021. It's the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. This set is bought on AliExpress and cost around $30. The delivery took around two weeks from China to Canada. It doesn't come in a box, but in a big bag protected by bubble wrap. The set contains seven bags and the tiny instruction manual. Despite the size of the manual, the instructions are clear and easy to follow. As for the bricks, they are quite good. Beside not having the LEGO logo on the stud, you would not be able to distinguish the difference. They are on part with the LEGO quality standard. There are no missing parts, and we are left with some extra. Now if you are aware, there's a very similar official LEGO set, set number 21108, released in 2014. That set is obviously retired now. The LEGO version targeted a 10 plus audience and had 508 pieces and come with 4 mini figs. This one come with a higher brick count, at 603 pieces, but doesn't come with any mini figs. As you can see on the pictures, the set is very details for this size. The doors, hood and rear hatch can be opened. The roof can also be removed to reveal some interior details. If you have the mini figs, all four of them should fit easily. Under the hood, the engine is visible. The roof also has a lot of details. You probably noticed that the ladder is on the right side unlike the larger icons version, which is on the left side. You may notice the sticker are not the right Ghostbusters logo as they obviously don't have the license. The Lego is more accurate to the movie, but for some reason we like this one better. It's kind of a pimp version of the Ecto-1. This one has a sportier look, with the white mags, wheel arch and side skirt. It may not be accurate, but we kind of like it better, what do you think? Leave us a comment below. Overall, I'm quite happy with this build. If you want a sportier look to the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, this one definitively is for you. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please subscribe and hit the like button, thanks. See you next time.